So we are playing, we are continuing last time. So I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my Xbox for a Xbox One for a second. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm supposed to go. I'll do some of the side quests later on. Here. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Hope. It's just what best needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can manage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. Oh, and I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as best. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we've got is the of the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on this man for I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Uh, you want me to do something? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on their way. You're the first stranger to wander into town in an age. Scripture tells us that nothing happens without reason. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserted, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. Sorry, From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. 
Adelaide will understand that. My dad told me all about the plants. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. So. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holton, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. I could use a Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. New commands. Begin the planning. There are characters to join your adventures. Companions provide. Oh, okay, just your normal thing. Not steal anything from here. I would bet you can. I want to explore a bit, actually. Okay. It's a bit laggy over here, like I said. And the city's... Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry, I... you just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Life's hard here. Especially for them to be fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but... Every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Ken. And maybe we can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. We used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say it was. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go, let's, let's just check for round round stuff. Do.
know what the fuck is up with the music and all. I, th I think. Something you need? I'll talk to her later. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment, not since that little incident. Jesus, why is it fucking slow here? Ah, uh, my CPU man, it's like really fast. Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Right ahead. What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This is a test. Am I being tested right now? It's a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happy. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on territory. If loving the place I work makes me crazy, then haul me off for mandatory re-education. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Music to my ears. Actually, yeah, that sounds some such stuff, actually. I want an assault rifle. Close to this thing right here, but it's like 2,000. Yeah, I don't think we should get an assault rifle, because I doubt we'll have any ammo either. Come on, pop your face up.
Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Yeah. We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Hmm. I'm just curious. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. Barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Okay, so it's really... Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not playing. The spry is a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Well, what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile, and there's the door. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction is bound to be contagious. Plague. It has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Um, I don't know what to say, man. Well, I want to complete the quest. I'll just say, I'll, I'll come back to him. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelance him for me, I could really use the help.
I'll scratch something together for you. Sell off some of my sundry at Moreau's if I have to. Just hear me out. There's a cache of anthrax selling tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do what I can. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping south. This is a lot like, um, New Vegas. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. So you'll do it then? You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh no, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. The constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Okay, so where do we go now? Oh. Oh, no. I suppose we go over here, to here, to this person. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort of prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season is tossball predictions. The quickest way out of town. What? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume.
One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Ah, uh, what you say? What? No! I don't want to burn it! I would never! I mean, I just want to... Uh, look, I have a very simple goal here. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. I can assure you, you won't find another willing to risk imprisonment to possess this book, nor anyone willing to pay the price I can offer. Glad we see eye to eye. Just check in. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay, cool, cool. Cool. Oh shit, I did not know that. Oh my bad. My bad. Don't know where that came from. <laughs> that was really I don't know, I just pressed C by accident and puffed off. Um don't know. I had no idea that would do that. Talks to the good figure, always lifts up my spirit. Okay, let's just check what, what this we have. Um, we can have a look at the photo of Okay, let me look this up on this page. You'll expect to look and compare the flags and the Okay. Okay. It's a side quest over here. We need to catch it. Sleep now. Yeah, we'll just leave. Yeah, I'm just checking the frame over here. It's not a good frame rate between in the city. It's okay. I mean, it's okay.
over here, I wonder. Okay, I don't know. I don't want to go there, actually. Fuck that. I'll go there later on. I want to see, like, this little quest and all that stuff. Go to that. Let's check if there's anything in here. Good gunners, but you know. Shit, let me see. Oh no!
Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Well, I'm just gonna end the video over here. An embarrassment over here. Um, thanks for watching.